Hey, it's Chris from Florida Drone Supply, and we are back again with another Before You Fly video. And today, we are featuring this little beauty, the all-new DJI Mini 4 Pro. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to prepare your aircraft for the first time use. First step, we're gonna start by gently removing the gimbal protector. To do this, turn the aircraft over and slightly press down on the gimbal protector to release the clips from the notches at the bottom of the aircraft body. Next, we're gonna to wanna to activate the intelligent flight batteries for the first time by charging them. If you purchase your aircraft, but not the Flymore kit, then we recommend using the DJI USB-C power adapter. Connect directly into the USB-C to the back of the aircraft and it will be fully charged in approximately one hour. For those of you that did get the Flymore Combo Plus, which is highly recommended, you could also charge the batteries by using the Mini 4 Pro charging hub and USB-C connector. The batteries will take approximately an hour to charge this way as well. Once your aircraft is fully charged, it is time to make sure your remote control is good to go. With the Mini 4 Pro, you have two current options for your remote controllers depending on your needs. The DJI RC2 and the DJI RC N2. Let's go over how to set up both, starting with the DJI RC2. Remove the control sticks from the storage slots located on the back of the controller and secure them into place on the front face of the remote. Next, carefully unfold the antennas by lifting them up. To power on the controller, press, then press again and hold down the power button. Now, you're gonna to wanna to follow the on-screen prompts to finish activating the controller and logging into your DJI account. If you are using the DJI RC N2 remote controller, you will need to first remove the control sticks from the back of the remote and place them on the front of the controller. Once those are secure, pull out the mobile device holder and choose the appropriate cable to connect to the mobile device that will be used with your controller. Place your mobile device in the holder then connect the end of the cable to the controller. After your remote controller is activated, the next step is to activate the Mini 4 Pro aircraft. We will do this by first pressing the power button and then press and hold the power button to power on the aircraft, similar to how we powered on the controller. An internet connection is required for activation so that you can follow along the on-screen prompts shown in the DJI Fly app. The aircraft should be bound to the remote controller automatically after activation. If automatic binding fails, follow the on-screen prompts on the DJI Fly app to bind the aircraft and the remote controller. Remember, whenever new firmware is available, a prompt will appear in the DJI Fly app. For an optimal user experience, it is suggested to always update that firmware whenever prompted. Once you have everything charged and activated, you are ready to get in the air and capture that amazing content. For more information about the Mini 4 Pro, go ahead and click the link in the description below. And if you have any questions, give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.